Yeah, right? Yeah. But so maybe not, today. not today. For some reason, they scheduled us at the same time today. So, yeah, it's probably not going to happen today. <laughs> so, uh, maybe. But tell me about your plan was to bring the entire crowd to the other stage, maybe, for one song? Think about us, like, playing, like, three songs on our stage oh, and then man. just telling <laughs> kids, like, hey, I got to go do this guest vocal, come over to Pierce's <laughs> stage, do it, and then run back and finish the last I feel like last you song. would show up and your clothes would be, like, torn, like, half off. I made it! We're on out, so straight up Hulk status, just like, what? Yeah. On stage. That's like the best, I don't know, <laughs> crowd attraction ever. I don't know. Um, so, about this alternative press cover shoot, I heard you guys were all together in like one giant room, and it was kind of a crazy experience. How did that go? Uh, it was crazy. cool. It was, we all met up in LA, and like, it was pretty cool because we knew it was like all our friends were on the cover. Right. And, uh, so it was kind of like a reunion. We got to hang out, and uh, it was probably the most fun photo shoot I've ever done, I think. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. There was like just different stations, and you just kind of like walk around and, and take pictures in the different stages, stations and just be like, how did you do it? Like, what did you wear? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty cool. I had a blast with you guys. We had, <laughs> <laughs> we had a great time together. <laughs> Cool, cool. Well, let's get into these Twitter questions. Um, Kyle is going to read them off for us. Live from Twitter, question number one, hit us with it. All right, so first question is, are there any songs that you wish you could have written? Any songs oh. you wish you? Mm. This question's always tough for me. I would go with Bohemian Rhapsody Oof. by Queen. Best song ever written. Man, well, that's about it then. Interview it's a over. great song. And I believe there's a dubstep themed question. Just curious, what was it? Oh yeah, so the dubstep themed question was, how much dub could a dubstep step if a dubstep could step dub? Um, how much dub could a dubstep step? Is that a trick step question? I, have to t I, I think I'd have to ask the woodchuck. Can I call the woodchuck? Yeah. On this one? Yes, That's like, is that like a call, right. like, like yeah, game call, show status? Phone a friend. Phone a friend, phone, like, woodchuck. phone a chuck. I'd like to call the titsy roll owl on the <laughs> <laughs> I think he knows the answer. I, I agree, that. I agree. So the next one is from Native Beauty 013. All right. Who or what are your biggest inspirations? Mm. Mm. I always go with family for me. Uh, I came from like a, a very like music oriented family background. Though, nice. So yeah, it's kind of. Yeah, it's I think awesome. I, I would actually say the same. My dad taught me how to play guitar and taught me and my brother music when we were really young. So uh, there was always like a million guitars laying around our house and stuff. So. Right on. I'd say probably um, kids that listen to our music and buy our albums too, because I feel like you can learn a lot from people that are your age and also younger, mm -hmm. just because sometimes my life isn't that crazy, but you can learn a lot from somebody else who might be going through some crazy stuff. Absolutely. Cool. Another question? Mm-hmm. All right. Keep them coming. All right. I'll do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's work for me. <laughs> it's tough. So this bus partnership thing yeah. works. Bring it. What's going on here right now? <laughs> um, Andrea Yasmin asks, what has been the funnest thing for you to do on Warped Tour? Hmm. Uh, I, I hope we do it this year, but like, uh, Every once in a while, Kevin Lyman. Water parks? Yeah. Yes. Kevin Lyman <laughs> buys out water parks for yes. the entire tour. Yeah. So it's just. If that happens uh, this year, yeah, that's definitely one of the most fun things. Yeah. So basically, like. I knew it. Just knew imagine, you were going to say like, that. <laughs> hundreds of. Warped toward people. Just at water Just running Doing around a, yeah. in a in a water park. That would be rad. Wait, they, the, they hate us. The warped tour water slide doesn't do it for you? Come on. Oh, that man. Thing is oh, no. <laughs> I mean, there's like just sweat and crazy warp <laughs> juice from like every kid that slides mm. on that thing. Why would you not want to jump in that? I've been showering in that. I haven't even seen <laughs> that. Where is that at? It's, uh, it's like a blow up, dedicated. Uh, blow up thing. Very I didn't cool. know they had it this year. I saw that. Years yeah, I'm a, I'm a huge fan of uh, roller coasters myself, so I'm waiting for that Buffalo, New York date when they yes. run out to six Oh, flags. yeah, that's definitely. Awesome. That's kind of my whole uh, thing. Darien Lake, yeah. That does a warp tour for me. Anyway. Wait, we get to go to Six Flags? Yeah, we get, with our passes, oh, yeah. we just get to walk in. Oh, yep. that's so sick. Yep. One more. All Maybe right. two. Maybe three. I don't know. <laughs> I've never done it before. That's so <laughs> sick. We can do whatever. <laughs> All right. So, do you think we can go to an ice cream factory? Or real Maryland. <laughs> yeah, me? I don't know, not really. I mean, it depends depends what kind of tour it is. I feel like if you're if you're on a tour where you're doing a lot of long drives during the day, then yeah. 
like the drive over here was pretty like, all right, I want to yeah. get out of here. Mm. But when you're, I mean, you don't spend that much time on the bus trail. I don't at least, so yeah. I don't know. And even when I do, I don't know, it just seems pretty spacious, I guess. I think, I, I'm just not used to being on the bus yet because we were recording and writing, it was like six months of no touring. And oh yeah. like the last few days I keep like waking up and just slamming my head into, oh, yeah. into the roof. <laughs> yeah. Like literally yeah. like hard, just like boom. <laughs> Sound Person really above nice. you, like, yeah, uh, dude. It sucks. <laughs> Our band took out just like each individual member has Mini Cooper that we brought out on Warp Tour, so we don't have like the whole bus experience. <laughs> but we just have like I a. I thought I saw you guys on the freeway just yeah. weaving through. We're, we just I park thought that all was the Italian job too. In, uh, <laughs> in Memphis Mayfire's trailer when we're here, so you never see them. But you think you could hook a rope onto the back of yours and I could ride rollerblades like to the next venue? I think that we could definitely work that out. Yep. What wow. about razors? <laughs> Are razors cool too? Razor scooters? Yeah. They're so Versus cool. Dude, they're still I mean, very cool. Nah, dude, so I'd be way more intimidated. So oh, come on. Razors. <laughs> Remember the ones with the light up wheels? Oh yeah. Those were tight. How, it was such a bummer when like you'd, you'd use the brake a lot and then all of a sudden your wheel was like a square. So yeah, you'd be like riding like, like, <laughs> like damn it. It's not fun anymore. Yeah. You're, like the loser with the square wheel, like, oh, definitely not cool anymore. Yeah, I didn't have one of those <laughs> You didn't have a scooter? I, I didn't have a Razor scooter. Oh. I remember the kids that like brought them to school and like go to class. Well, we know we're getting uh, Vic for yeah. Christmas. You guys, yep. get, you guys can give me one of those. Out there. You guys want to bring a Razor scooter to Warp Tour for Vic? We're going to have a special PO Box Actually, if you want to bring a Razor scooter to the three of us, we'd be very excited. I'm very like grateful. to have red wheels, if you please. Bring, if somebody <laughs> brings three of them to a Warp Tour, we'll all take a picture together yeah. and we'll Instagram it. Done. Start a Razor gang. Mm -hmm. In addition to our biker gang. <laughs> We're in a BMX <laughs> gang and a Razor gang. Yeah. That's intimidating <laughs> as hell. All right, one <laughs> more question, man. All right, final question is from Sky Holt. What was it like recording your first album? What was it like recording your first album? Hmm. Ah. Mm. Exciting. Like the second version of it. <laughs> <laughs> the two-parter. <laughs> um, it's fun. It's always fun recording. All right. Records. I always thought, yeah, I think I think the first record was really exciting. I remember, like, it's always that feeling of, like, you've been writing and demoing things for, like, a year, and then to actually see it kind of, like, unfold is always yeah. really exciting. I think that's why recording is one of my favorite parts of being in a band. But, yeah, mine too. Um, yeah, yeah, just watching everything kind of unfold. But yeah. I guess that's not, I guess that happens in every record, but I mean. What, yeah, like, but you get like your whole life to write the first one, they say? Right. Yeah, not, see, no, that, <laughs> that didn't happen. Me neither. I had about four weeks. <laughs> I, yeah. They were I, like, well, you're going on Warp Tour and you guys don't have a CD yet. We're like, oh, <laughs> I we had, need one of them? I spent like years writing our first album. <laughs> oh, I wish. And then, uh, <laughs> yeah, we did it in Seattle and like parked our RV just like in front of the guy's house. Heck yeah. In front of Casey Bates' house. I stayed yeah. there before. Yeah. Casey Bates is awesome. Hell yeah. Yeah, so that's awesome. That he has really his bunk beds and. Yeah, I love being in Seattle and that was, it was really fun for us. That's awesome. First records are the best. Mm -hmm. Don't buy the rest of them. <laughs> <laughs> they just can't wait. It's all downhill from Words of wisdom. <laughs> all right. Camera three, I'm going to close it out. Thank you so much, you guys, for tuning in. If you want to get the newest issue of Alternative Press, it is coming out on July 3rd, and you can actually order it via altpress.com slash AP. Um, and I'm letting these guys take it away. Say whatever you want to your fans, guys. Close mm. it off. Callan, you're funny. Say something funny. I don't know. <laughs> oh, that was funny. <laughs> I've never been here before. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Spotlight. Thank you guys for watching us. Yeah, Hang and if you're, if you're coming out to Warp Tour, make sure you guys catch everybody's set. Please. Yeah. We'll see you soon. Come out to Bye. Warp. We love you.